Well, I have a new board requirement. Yes, instead of attempt to avoid relegation, it's avoid relegation from Skybet Championship. I made the mistake of, uh, they gave me that little offer, you know, like they do. They come along and say, uh, would you like to stick with what you've got? Or we'll give you a bigger wage budget and uh, let's go for this new shiny thing. Unfortunately, I clicked the button. Immediately after, I got four horrendous injuries. One to my goalkeeper. Don't really have that much in their backup goalkeeping department. And, uh, well, things have gone a bit pear-shaped. Don't you just love football manager? Welcome back to part 26 of this year's Grassroots to Goal Boots with me, the Gobby Gaffer, and uh, currently with second club in the series, it's Reading FC. And yes, sir, with one click of a button, it's given the game a license to throw, well, a massive spanner in the works. Let's have a look what's been going on. So just uh, the seven games played since you were last with me, and uh, after that 2-0 uh, win against Derby, really good win, we then played a Sheffield United away from home and a 3-3 draw in that one. We managed to claw our way back in a few times in that game and managed to get a point. And then we came home, played Plymouth, nice 2-0 win, and uh, then we played an away game at Anfield. It was Liverpool and uh, quite a narrow defeat in that one, 2-1, so I was quite pleased with the lads. And then, of course, the message came up, would you like to change the objectives for a little bit more wage budget? And I thought, you know what? We're doing well. We don't need to attempt. We are going to avoid relegation. I clicked the button. Big mistake. Straight away, four really bad injuries. My goalkeeper, who is still out at the moment, my first choice goalkeeper, still out. So uh, long-term injuries as well. They weren't niggling little things three, four weeks. So uh, we played Sunderland at home. Normally, I would have thought at least a point out of that one. No, we got battered 4-0. I had no wingers. I know it's a reoccurring theme with this, uh, with this team. We have no wingers, and I am playing a system with wingers. Um, well, we do have wingers. Let's qualify that. But um, we really only have one player for each side. And when they get injured, well, so I had to play a different formation altogether that the lads weren't really used to. Yep, a 4-0 battering. And as you can see on this right-hand side here, I am juggling the formation, which is not ideal. It doesn't, it doesn't create a lot of consistency in results. But um, anyway, more about that shortly, because I have brought one or two players in. Uh, if you've noticed, we're on the 4th of February now. So the January transfer window has been and gone. So a little bit more uh, good news uh, in that respect. So um, played Millwall away from home, a 1-1 draw in that one. So we picked up another point. And then a Preston at home, a very narrow 1-0 win in that one. So as you can see, it has disrupted the team. I mean, Preston are... Uh, well, they're, they're relegation fodder in this league, so we should be beating them reasonably handsomely, handsomely I think, at this stage. But no, just a sl uh, slender 1-0 win, and then we went away to Cardiff, and uh, we got beat 2-1. So as you can see there, results not amazing, but uh, we are holding our own, given the uh, adversities that uh, we're facing. And with 31 games of the season now played, uh, we are 15th and we have 37 points. We are four points behind Stoke now, though. So given the form that we're in, um, I think looking up, not quite sure about that. Uh, looking down, I think we're fairly what clear of the relegation area, but we do need to keep picking the points up. But it won't be of any surprise to you that I have dipped into the transfer market. Uh, it's loans. That's all I can do, really. Our finances still aren't looking great. So, yeah, I've dipped into the transfer market and uh, brought some loanies in. They're only young kids, but uh, they're, they're looking really good, you know, potential-wise, five-star potential. Hopefully, they can take us to the end of the season. And the, the first of those loans from Leeds is 19-year-old uh, Elliot Brecken, left-footed winger, Obviously, you know, we do need these wingers on the pitch and we need uh, people who can do a, a really good job for us out there. It's just not just a case of bringing bodies in. We do need... I've, I've, I've racked my brains with this and I've sifted through a lot of players. But if you look at this lad, I mean, look at his physicals for a 19-year-old. This lad's going to be a superstar. He's already worth £25 million, but we've got him on loan till the end of the season. 
We've gone Italian with the next loan, and it's uh, Marco Balsamo from uh, AS Roma. Again, look at his physicals. 18 years old. He's only worth six million, so maybe by the end of the season we might have some money to bring him in full time if he, you know, proves his worth. But again, I think this lad is going to be, you know, a top-notch player. Uh, now, I told a little bit of a white lie there. Yes, we have brought a player in on a free transfer. So, uh, Anton Eriksson, uh, well, he's ours now till uh, uh, 2030. And uh, that's a three-year contract. 26-year-old Swedish centre-half. And uh, again, I think he's going to be a very, very good uh, acquisition for us. He comes in as the best centre-back at the club. And uh, I think, you know, we do need some strength in depth there. Uh, we are struggling to find a striker who can hit the back of the net on a regular basis. So with that in mind, gone to Liverpool on loan, 18-year-old Dylan Munro, uh, three, coming in as a three-star with the potential to be five. You can see exactly why. Look at his first touch and finishing. Technique of 16, 18 years old, really good physicals, composure, decisions, I mean, this lad is absolutely brilliant. And I think we're probably, let's say it quietly, uh, barring the game, putting another spanner in the works and injuring Dylan Munro for me. Hopefully, he can play till the end of the season. And uh, with all of that done, the finances are not looking too bad. Uh, obviously, the wage budget we could do with balancing that up. But uh, we're now 18000 over the wage budget. So having brought those players in, uh, you would have thought maybe it would have got a bit worse. Actually, it's got a little bit better. I have moved one or two more players out on loan, but the uh, overall balance in the bank is now less than 10 million. And uh, we are going to go into today's two games with a brand new front three. Hopefully, that'll do okay for us. The two young kids uh, on the wings have been playing quite well, uh, played a couple of games, and have been doing all right. The, uh, the, the new striker, he's not played for us yet, so... Uh, We'll have to see how he goes. But uh, anyway, let's have a look who we're playing. And a couple of home games uh, for you today. Uh, I'm a little bit sick and tired of playing away games. We seem to have played an awful lot of away games. If we go back up here, Blackburn, Derby, Sheffield United, all away. Then we had a home game. Then we came and played Liverpool away from all. We have had a lot of away games. We do have two home games today. Uh, it's Birmingham and Stoke City. So without further ado, no more waffling from the Gobby Gaffer. Let's get stuck in and see how this uh, new look team performs. And hopefully we can get those uh, extra points now just to keep us round that mid-table, avoid the relegation, keep the board nice and happy. But also it gives us a nice basis then to go into next season and hopefully try and mount a promotion push. Let's get stuck in. Well, the injury list is getting a little bit better, but as you can see, I'm still without my first choice goalkeeper. So Anderson comes in. He's played about the last four games or so. Six foot four, aerial reach of 17, would expect that. But uh, his mentals are not amazing. And uh, we've kind of seen that in the performances. But anyway, so we've got Anderson in goal. And uh, we've got a new left back on today, Abby. He's been with us all of the time. Uh, that I've been in charge at Reading. He's, he's, a, he's a left footed centre back, but the game is continually pushing me to move players out on loan. You know, even in positions where I've not got a lot of cover, um, you need to loan this player out. And of course, the player gets grumpy. So I've had to let one or two players go who really I didn't want to do. So the squad is, it's not paper thin, but it's getting a little bit low. So Abby is having to play at left back. So it's a Abbey, McIntyre, Holmes and uh, Mbengu, uh, back four. We've got Savage as the ball-winning midfield player. Schmodix has had to come in today because Taylor has got an injury. We've got uh, Stanton as the attacking midfield player and a brand new front three for you of Brecken, Munro and Balsamo. All 18, 19 year old lads, but uh, hopefully they can do a job for us. And although the dynamics of the club are coming up, uh, well, they're moving leaps and bounds, actually. We're looking a lot, lot better. My team talks are still not having the uh, desired effect. And uh, that's not ideal. Seven minutes on the clock and we're 1-0 down to Birmingham. And with a Swansea win, uh, they played earlier on in the day with a Swansea win. 
they've actually leapfrogged us now so it's pushed us down the table and unfortunately it doesn't look like we're doing well in this game at all at home so another Birmingham highlight and uh, the ball does get uh, punched away then I think this is probably the game telling me that um, my keeper's not good enough but of course when you get a 3-4 week injury to your main keeper there's not a lot that you can do but we're not doing well in this game at all and back to another highlight so we've had three highlights in this game now all Birmingham Birmingham now going to build from the back winning 1-0 will look like potentially we, we, unless I can do something in this game to change things looks like we're going to lose the three points but of course the front three have got to settle in and it's maybe not the ideal time to be bringing young kids in but I had to do something and these young kids have got a lot of potential and that was very very poor and that's another indication that at the moment we are just not ticking over at all just giving that ball away there. Counter-attack, giving the ball away. And now Birmingham just passing the ball around us at will. Ball's now going to get slid across. Oh, he's going to have a do. We're losing 2-0. Absolutely awful. And as you would expect, I mean, you've got to give some great thanks to the game, haven't you, for basically throwing a massive spanner in the works for you. But So those front three are all on 6.3, 6.4. So I hoped that these things can go one or two ways, can't they? You know, you bring these young lads in, you think that, you know, you're doing the right thing, and it goes one or two ways. They either hit the ground running, score loads of goals, or they just don't perform at all. And, of course, you know, no guesses for that one. They're not performing at all. So uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. So no surprises. I've made three changes. Uh, the front three have all been changed, which is... You know, I mean, you couldn't write this, could you, really? So, uh, Poku, Billington and uh, Morrow have come on up front. And we have gone to something a little bit more compact now. Hopefully, uh, we can stop Birmingham scoring a third and maybe nick one and then we're back in the game. Let's carry on. So, the uh, is, it this, is this the fourth highlight in the game now? And it's Birmingham coming forward again. Fletcher now taking the ball onto that side. Swift is in the back of the net. And that's exactly what we didn't need. So we're 3-0 down in this game now. And, uh, well, I think it's uh, game one, Gobby Gaffer nil. And we have a 100% conversion rate. Three shots, three on target. But uh, XG is really awful. And we're doing absolutely nothing in this game. Oh, put the flags out. We do get a highlight. But uh, shock horror. It goes over the bar. And the game is actually allowing us now to have a few highlights. So, Poku there. Ball into Billington. Billington now is coming through the middle. Can he do anything? No, he can't. We do win the ball, though. Schmodix there. Abby now, the new uh, left wing back. Poku. And, uh, of course, he hits the post with that one. So, I'm definitely going to have to work my socks off now. This needs turning around very, very quickly. And uh, when the game is against you so much like it is at the moment, it's going to be tough, this, I think. So 16th position now, uh, 37 points. And, uh, well, we are looking down again now. So uh, we need to avoid Rochdale's position, 23. So we are, is that, what's that, 14 points. We're 14 points away from the relegation zone. And, uh, well... Let's move on to the next game, shall we? Less said about that game, the better. Well, this is a must-win game because uh, the next game coming up is Crystal Palace. They're third in the league. Don't think we're going to get any points out of that one. Not the way we're playing at the moment, so we must win this one. However, we do have a lot of injury and fitness problems in the team. I'm playing two up top today. Not by choice, but Stanton has now picked up an injury. So, in the middle of the park, we are a little bit lacking now. So, we have Anderson in goal. Back four of Abbey, McIntyre, Eriksson gets his first start today. And Mabengo out on that right-hand side. Holmes moving, uh, moves into a, a, a defensive midfield position. It's not really his best position, but again, I'm, a, I'm struggling for bodies a little bit. Purcell is going to be the DLP. 
Uh, the two wide players are breaking. Billington comes back in today. Uh, the young kid that we have, who is absolutely brilliant, going to be a superstar. And uh, Morrow is going to play a complete forward today with the young kid Munro as the advance forward. Oh my word. 42 seconds on the clock. The young kid breaking is now injured. Brecken. Let's play Schmodix out there. I mean, words fail me. Literally, words fail me. So the first highlight of the game is a ball with Stoke. Going to try and stay positive. It's going to be a challenge. Okay, Stoke now moving the ball through the middle of the field. Finding the men really well. Ball into the back of the net. We're 1-0 down. Is the referee at the linesman has got his flag up. So it did look offside that one. We are going to go attacking in this game. I'm going to give him a shout of encouragement. Things are not looking good at the moment. They are not looking good. Couple of shots we've had. Nothing on target. XG is woeful. We really, really need to turn our season round here. Otherwise, we are going to get dragged in to that relegation battle. Really? Okay. Well, I don't actually have anybody that can play there. Um, what do I do? I literally have no idea. What, what do I do? Um, McIntyre move out there. He is left footed. And let's bring the young kid Canu in. Answers on a postcard. So two full substitutions in the first half. And just before the half time whistle blows, we come back to another highlight and it is Stoke again Stoke now moving through the centre of the field bringing it down left hand side now uh, Ericsson picks that up nicely but then just hoofs the ball wildly out and the ball is coming straight back at us again but uh, we do pick that ball up there on this right hand side Morrow now a nice ball through to the young kid and the young kid a bit of an experience there and could have weaved his way through and had a shot, but just gives the ball away. And this highlight is, uh, well, it's war and peace, isn't it? It's lasting forever. Stoke now coming down their right-hand side. I'm guessing there will be a shot on goal at the end of this highlight, and I'm guessing it probably isn't going to be us. So Dowell now coming down this left-hand side, into the box, slides the ball in. Quite a nice save there from Anderson. A corner now coming in. The ball's in the back of the net and just before half time Stoke do take the lead and this game at the moment it's well it's doing its best isn't it two injuries in the first half disruption in the squad and goals are just well I don't know I, I literally have no answer and of course now that they've scored we can now have on 50 minutes we can now have the uh, half-time whistle. Uh, another change at half-time. Uh, Billington has gone up front now. Uh, two advanced forwards up there. What's the worst that can happen? And the uh, new uh, young kid on the right-hand side, Balsamo, gets, his, uh, gets another chance to show us what he can do. So we have gone very attacking now, but uh, eight shots, two on target. The XG is, has crept up, so we, we're doing okay but so we do need to put that ball in the back of the net. McIntyre now down this left-hand side and just gives the ball away. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm running out of ideas now. So Bevan there runs through our defence like it's not there. Uh, Bevan again. Ball into the box. It's in the back of the net. We're now losing 2-0. And this is going from bad to worse. So I think we can see a, an indication here if you look how tired my, uh, well, particularly the defence. I've had to make some more changes. I brought Schmodix on, but he wasn't particularly fit. So he's had to come off again. Uh, we've gone to one up top now, Munro. Dinardo, the young kid, has come out with, uh, again, 
not great. We're playing a lot of young kids in here. And like I said before, it can go one or two ways, can't it? They can come on, hit the ground running and do the job for you. Unfortunately, it's actually going the other way for us. And these young kids just aren't up to it. So, like I say, Dinardo comes on. Uh, Ericsson has moved forward into as a DM. Holmes has dropped back to the uh, ball-playing defender. I'm not quite sure what else to do in this game. I have pushed the lines forward a little bit more. Nine shots, two on target. But the XG of 0 0.88 is awful. So, we do come back to a highlight. Ericsson now um, doesn't pick that ball up. I mean, the indications are everywhere for everybody to see, aren't they? The play is awful. We're just giving the ball away. We look lackadaisical. Injury issues, fitness issues. Lots of young kids in the team. I really wish it would have worked. And it may still do. Once these young kids settle down, it may still do. But uh, we do need to start putting a few points on the board. And I don't think we're going to need to win the next game against Palace. So that would be three losses on the trot. And there's another perfect example there of a ball being given away. And it looks like Balsamo now has just come on. He's got a red card and he's off. Could it get any worse? I don't think it could. So, referee, you just need to uh, to blow your whistle now. We need to lick our wounds and, uh, well, just get back into the dressing room, really. I think the game has thrown just about everything at me there that it could do. Um, again, like I say, it's, it's, it's rare that I'm lost for words, but, I mean, look at that. A deflection that was on its way in and the keeper pulls off a stunning save. Ericsson now with the ball there to Holmes and uh, that's not worthy of a highlight. So we finished the episode in 16th place, 33 games played, 37 points. We are still 14 points ahead of Rochdale but they do have that game in hand. And I am beginning to wonder whether the Gagan press is the right uh, tactic for this uh, youngish team. Yes, we do have the energy in the team but I don't know whether we have the experience. It's a bit late in the day to be changing the Gagan press now. Not quite sure what I'm going to do, really. I need to go away, do some head scratching, play some games off camera. Well, we'll be back very shortly. Let's hope the gobby gaffer can turn around this sinking ship. Otherwise, the promise that I made to the board, you remember that promise? That's when it all started going pear-shaped. The game definitely knows what it's doing, doesn't it? We'll see you next time.